The days of pumpkin spice and hay rides are numbered, my friends. The gaming cornucopia that is November is here, and while we wouldn't call it the biggest month in gaming by any means, there's definitely a title or two that'll get you excited. My name is Kodiak, this is Legacy Gaming, and today we're running down the new games hitting the shelves in the month of November. The League of Legends universe gets a little bigger on November 1st with the release of Song of Nunu, A League of Legends Story. Take to the Freljord as Nunu, a young boy in search of his mother, but what's that snowy tundra without your trusty yeti companion, Willem? United by, of all things, snowball fights, the two will take on the dangers of the Freljord and cross paths with some of the League's most iconic characters like Braum, Orr, Volibear, and Lissandra. It's a snow-covered adventure with secrets to dig up, puzzles to solve, and enough sledding and snowball fights to make you feel like a kid again. I have to say it's really interesting seeing Riot release a string of smaller games outside of the League of Legends juggernaut. Games like the Maid Seeker take popular characters like Silas and build around them a self-contained experience, which will only help the team when they eventually reveal their in-development MMORPG sometime in the future. The reimagined world of the Star Ocean sequel gets a new coat of paint in Star Ocean The Second Story R. The remake brings back the 2D pixel heroes in their 3D environments and adds a few new features for players to enjoy. New battle mechanics, break, and assault action alongside new motion effects look to make the action even better. Accompanied with full Japanese and English voiceovers, the original score also gets a new arrangement bringing the classic full circle for new and existing fans of this modernized JRPG. If your primary directive is protect the innocent, uphold the law, well you and Robocop have something in common. Robocop Rogue City puts you in the suit of the iconic part man, part machine as you bring justice to the streets of old Detroit. It's an original story set sometime between the events of Robocop 2 and 3, and we'll visit some iconic locations as we look for evidence, interrogate criminals, and maintain public order in the name of justice. And to top it all off, the original actor Peter Weller is back to voice this character, returning him to his former robotic glory. It's hard to say whether this 80s cult classic character will have any sway over modern gamers, but there's sure to be a good hit of nostalgia for anyone who has fond memories of Robocop. WarioWare is back for another wild adventure that makes absolutely no sense to anyone, just what the doctor ordered. Wario and the gang are back in the hodgepodge of motion-based minigames, WarioWare Move It. It may look like a gag game, but I have no doubt you'll be battling head-to-head -head in some of the most ridiculous minigames you can imagine. Help Wario escape the Woods Watchers solo or with friends. It's some seriously awkward stuff, but it'll make for a great video to embarrass your kids at their high school graduation. No HUD, no problem. The Invincible is an atmospheric, story-driven adventure that taps into the philosophical vein of mankind's pursuit into the stars. Set on the faraway planet Regis 3, you wake up without any memory of how you got there or why. All you know is that your crew is missing, and if you have any chance of survival, you'll need to find them and figure out what happened. Based on the classic sci-fi novel by Stanislaw Lem, players will explore a breathtaking planet unexplored by humankind and unravel the mysteries held within. But as you delve deeper into the unknown, you'll come to realize that the boundaries of human exploration may extend beyond our understanding, raising questions about the price of our curiosity. If you're a fan of walking simulators like Firewatch or The Long Dark, definitely put The Invincible on your radar. Prepare for an epic journey filled with action, suspense, and the return of a true Yakuza legend in Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name. You'll follow the legendary Kazuma Kiryu on an all-new adventure in the bustling cities of Osaka and Yokohama, but this time around, you're going incognito as a secret agent. The game is set between the events of Yakuza 6, The Song of Life, and Yakuza Like a Dragon. Kiryu has faked his own death to protect his foster children and now operates under the alias Joryu. He's now working undercover for the enigmatic Daidoji faction, but when a mission takes an unexpected turn, Kiryu is thrust back into a world he's tried to leave behind, and a shadowy figure emerges, setting the stage for a gripping tale of redemption, secrets, and betrayal. Pretty much just a meme at this point, the day before supposedly releases on November 10th. 
the post-apocalyptic MMORPG has seen nothing but delays, drama, and controversies, but I'm beginning to think that's how the devs want it at this point. All the free publicity keeps the game in the headlines and on wish lists as people wait to see what's going to happen next. I will genuinely be shocked if the devs over at Fnatic manage to pull off an actual release, but when they do, you better believe the industry is going to eat this game alive. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go do a quick YouTube search for some of the creators covering this game because it's a dumpster fire waiting to happen. Activision never fails to miss a beat when it comes to their annual release of COD, with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 not to be confused with the other Modern Warfare 3 from 2011. The story picks up immediately following Modern Warfare 2, allowing players to continue their progression from one title to the next for the first time in the franchise's history. Arguably the most highlighted feature is the largest zombies map ever created and story to boot. The game will certainly give fans something to chew on for the next year with 16 Modern Warfare 2 maps being revamped and brought back and 12 new 6v6 maps for the game's launch. At this point, I don't know if Call of Duty is news to anyone, but there's certainly still a huge core of players looking forward to this yearly release. Switch players, your day has finally arrived. Hogwarts Legacy is all yours and you don't have to share the spotlight with anyone. Dropping on November 14th, Portkey Games delivers on its commitment to bringing the game to Nintendo fans, but boy has it been a long slog. One thing's for sure, if you've been waiting this long for the game, you are one dedicated Nintendo fan. Of course, check out our other coverage of Hogwarts Legacy if you want to learn more about the game, including our brutally honest review. Nintendo dropped a bomb during its September Nintendo Direct, announcing that Mario & Friends will return in Super Mario RPG. It's a remake for the ages, touting updated graphics, polished cinematics, and tweaked mechanics. In fact, the original is one of Livid's favorite RPGs of all time, and that's saying something. The turn-based RPG takes us back to some of the most iconic locations as the gang battles all the Goombas and Shy Guys they can handle. Whether you've played in the past or you're just excited to pick this up, it's a great point to jump in and experience the fan favorite that set the bar so high for so many years. The tradition of Persona spin-offs continues with Persona 5 Tactica. Taking place towards the end of Persona 5, the game stars Joker and his comrades in the Phantom Thieves. The group is pulled into some sticky situations in some interdimensional drama in pursuit of their comrades. What's most notable about the game is the addition of grid-based combat coupled with the iconic turn-based systems. Think XCOM or Baldur's Gate 3. It's a title that looks to fit in perfectly with the series and hopefully gives fans something fresh to jump into. November has a wide offering of games, that's for sure. As we creep closer to the holidays, that list gets a little smaller, but the stakes for our attention get higher. While this definitely isn't an exhaustive list by any means, it's definitely going to be a majority of what tops out the November charts. If there's something on your radar that we missed and you didn't see it here today, let us know in the comments. Of course, you can always join us on Discord if you want to talk about great games and are for your chance to win free prizes and connect with the team. That link, as always, is below. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.